What's good? Happy Sunday, everybody. It's a beautiful day outside, for real. It's so pretty. The temperature is just right. Sun is shining. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I wanted to tune in today and record a little video for you guys to give you some tips on successful dieting. Well, you could apply these tips to anything, but really as it pertains to dieting, because as we all know, can I out train a bad diet? You can, man, you can work as hard as you want to, but if your diet is not there, and I'm going to bring y'all in because I can't really, how's that? That's good, right? That's good. Okay, so, um, yeah, if you, if your diet is not good, your results from all your work in the gym are going to be minimal at best. There was, I, I mean, I ran, and I've touched on this a little bit, but I was a runner, did half marathons for, gosh, the longest time, um, really got into long distance running. It used to give me a lot of joy to run. I got a lot of mental benefit from it, a lot of physical benefit as well. But if you looked at my body, if you look at my transformation photos that I posted recently, it was the little collage of the different images. Um, you know, I've been into fitness all of my life, dance running. Running seems to have taken up the longest of my career. Um, my career as far as athletics are concerned. But, um, you know, if you had put me in a bathing suit, did I have a bad figure? No. I, I mean, I was in shape, but I had excess body fat and you can see it in those images from point A to point B. So, you know, what was different? Well, the di the main difference has been, first of all, lifting heavier weight, but also making sure that I got my diet right. When I started to get my diet on point, in check, really honing in on making healthier choices, gosh, the needle just, whoosh. I mean, it started to move. You can't, I mean, whatever you want to do, if you want to get stronger, you want your muscles to grow, you want to get smaller, you want to be thinner, you want the scale to go down, you want, what do you want to do? You can't accomplish that without your diet being in check on point. So, a couple of things. So, and back up one more thing and give you guys just a little background. When my middle son was born, I made the decision that I was going to a vegetarian lifestyle. I had never really, I mean, I ate meat, hamburgers, you know, ham, turkey, whatever, but it was just never something that I loved. In fact, it really kind of made me feel like blah whenever I would eat it. Um, and so I just kind of made the decision as an adult, because as we do, when we become an adult, we get to a point where we're just kind of like, why am I doing, I don't, nobody's forcing me to do this. I just really didn't care for meat. I just didn't care for it. Chicken kind of grossed me out. Um, preparing meat, just really couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I just, I developed somewhat of an aversion to it. And so I just thought, you know what, why, nobody's forced me to do this. I'm just not going to eat this stuff anymore. I'm just not. And so... My middle son is now eight years old, and that was really the last time prior to that that, I'd, that I've had, I haven't had a hamburger in, <laughs> in eight years, and that blows people's minds. But I don't do it for ethical reasons. I don't do it for any other reason other than I just don't care for it. I mean, I think that there, I really do think that there's something to all this talk that they talk about. Um, the ethical nature of eating animals and things like that. But I eat fish, so I don't really feel like I have um, much of a leg to stand on as it pertains to that argument. Truly to each his own. If you don't eat certain things for whatever reason, for me, the texture just always bothered me. Kind of grossed me out a little bit. But by all means, you guys eat it if you want to eat it. Personally, it ain't my thing. So, right to each his own. So I haven't eaten meat in like eight years and I have, you know, I've thought a long time about how we can, you know, when we talk about eating right, um, taking certain things out of our diet, how can we be most successful? How do people that have quit smoking get to a point where they quit smoking? Well, they get to a point, they arrive and make this decision they're they're just not going to do that anymore. If you drink sodas and you wish to quit drinking sodas, do yourself a favor. And this pertains to anything. If it's candy, if it's cookies, if it's cake, if it's chips, if it's alcohol, if it's whatever. One of the very best things that you can do is instead of telling yourself, I can't have that stuff anymore, is to gravitate and move into this realm of thinking of, I don't 
consume that stuff anymore. When I got to that point where I made that decision that I was just going to naturally call it what it was and become a vegetarian, um, you know, I there was the, the this part of it that was coupled with that decision was very much this this idea of I don't eat that stuff anymore. It becomes very, very easy when you make up your mind that you're not doing something anymore. You're not smoking anymore. You're not using tobacco anymore. You're not going to take a certain medication anymore. That everything that you do, you're 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 going to do you you're not going to do those things anymore. You know, it becomes very easy then to abstain from it. So, with with your diet, if there are certain things that you're wanting to improve, get into that mind of thinking that the, you just don't eat that stuff anymore. You don't eat that stuff anymore. Because if you really want to, you've got to move away from this, I can't. Because nobody's really telling you you can or can't have that stuff. Unless maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe somebody is. But for you, for you, if you're the one who is imposing that on yourself, move into an this this frame of thinking that you don't consume that stuff anymore. And you'll be better apt to abstain from it successfully. Another one that I want to hit on is the con it's not concept, but it's excuses. Um, I really want you guys to do some work today to think about what excuses possibly you're giving yourself about why you're not being successful. When we take the responsibility off of ourselves and put it on somebody else, it's so easy for us to just kind of pass. You know, there's no responsibility with that. But when we take those excuses out, and whatever that excuse is, sometimes you got to dig really deep to figure out what that is. But when you eliminate excuses from your life, what you are able to do, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. What, do, what are you imposing on yourself? And I guess this is, it's a tip, but it's also a question that I want you to ask yourself today. A little bit of homework for you guys. I want you to really think about what excuses are you feeding yourself? Because when we, when we make excuses for ourselves, we lie to ourselves. I see it with my kids all the time. You know, we, our oldest didn't want to go to church this morning. Um, and so he sat on his bed for the longest time when he was supposed to be getting dressed and he wouldn't get dressed. And he ended up, you know, we, we got on to him because he was supposed to be getting dressed and he was going to make us late, and when I asked him, you know, what was the deal? Why didn't he really want to go to church? He gave me the excuse, well, he was just tired, and he wanted to stay home and nap. Y'all, this kid does not nap. He has to be sick to nap, and I know he's not sick. He's not coming down with anything. I could read through it. You know what I'm saying? As his mama, I know when he's telling the truth, and I know when we're getting a line, you know, and this was clearly a line. Do you do that with yourself? oh, I'm going to sleep in, I'll just exercise later. Now, if you really are going to exercise later, but you're track, then, then by all means, no big deal. But if your line is, I'm going to sleep in, I'm going to exercise later, and your track record would say otherwise, you're, ex you're making an excuse and you're lying to yourself. If the excuse is, oh, I'll have the cookie because I deserve it, I worked really hard this week. I deserve this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ate the cookies because you deserved it? Do you deserve anything in life? I mean, yeah, but you don't deserve to undo all of the good stuff that you did. You know what I'm saying? Dig a little deep. And these things that you're doing to yourselves to sabotage all the good work that you've done, get it under control and nip it in the bud because you're standing in your way of your own success. Truly, you are. And if we don't identify what these things are and nip them in the bud and get them out of our lives, we're going to continue in this vicious cycle where we want desperately to change and we look at ourselves in the mirror and we can't stand what we see, but we don't know how to stop it. Well, this is step one, identifying all these things that are keeping, keeping us from reaching our goals. Then you got to get mad at it, mad enough that you will stop at nothing to remove them from your life. And when you do those things, you're bound to be successful. It's going to take time, but you will be able to do it. So there's a little truth in gospel today. <laughs> um, it is Sunday, so I guess today is the day for gospel. But anyway, coming into 13 weeks out from competition and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready for the week. Ready, 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 ready.
So I'm on to the grocery store now to get some food to meal prep so that I will set myself up for success. And I not only prep for myself, but I prep for my kids because I get their lunches and stuff ready, snacks and stuff. They're all ready and portioned out, ready to go. So we just throw that stuff in a bag and get on it. It is, man, it makes your schedule so easy. But anyway, that's it. So do some work today. That's your homework. Get on it. Be honest with yourself because you're the one who's going to either lose out or be successful. It's And it's you who's going to win. And then when you win, everybody else around you wins because they get to see you happy, healthy, and successful. Not much else in life that's worth that, you know? So anyway, hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Get out, enjoy some of this beautiful weather today, and get ready for the week at hand. Y'all be great. Be beautiful. Peace out. Love you. Bye.